What's going on everybody? It's been a little while since I last did a video from my car, but I think what was released last night from the Hollywood Reporter, I, I have to talk about it. I really do. The big news is that Wonder Woman 3 has been canned, or at least this iteration or that iteration with Patty Jenkins and Jeff Johns writing the script. At first, when you take a look at that, that's great news. That That's amazing because Wonder Woman 84 was absolute shit. There's no ands, if buts about it. There's no way around it. Wonder Woman 84 was shit. Here's where things get interesting because the Hollywood Reporter then starts to speculate a little bit on what could be happening with the DCU and with James Gunn and Peter Safran running DC Studios. It's believed that they're going to be presenting their 10 year plan to Warner Brothers execs, or at least David Zaslav, next week. There's speculation that they're going to reboot the entire DCU. I think that is the best move for them to do right now. Look, I love Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Jason Momoa, Gal Gadot. I, I, I loved all of those actors in their roles. But when I sit there and think about the future of the DCU and where I want to see things go, it, it's they're handcuffed. They would be handcuffed to continue down the route that they've been going by utilizing these actors, these characters, in the ways that they've been handled for the past 10 years. Undoubtedly, this has upset many, many, many Snyder fans. And I get that. I get that you've been pushing and, and wanting so badly for Zack Snyder to come back and whether it's finish his arc or just join the DCU in some form or fashion. I understand that, but when you get down to, when you really, really think about everything that's been going on for the last couple months with Black Adam, while yes, it didn't do phenomenally financially, it just barely made enough money to, according to The Rock, to be profitable in some form or fashion. When you get down to it, DC needs a shot in the arm. They need something that's going to blast them off into a higher stratosphere than it's ever been before. Bringing Zack Snyder back to complete his arc isn't that shot in the arm. You'll get a minority of fans who will be excited and, and be happy, but there's still that general audience. There's still that larger fan base that doesn't necessarily want to see that. Everybody's going to sit there and blame James Gunn. They're going to blame Peter Safran. Here's the thing. They were brought in to do a job and they're doing that job. Whether you want to sit there and say it's the wrong idea, that it's not the right move, that's your own opinion. It's all subjective. But to sit there and act like this is the end of DC films, this is the worst possible outcome, I'm sorry, but this is the best possible outcome. Imagine trying to go in and design a 10-year plan coming off of somebody else's ideas. They had to go in there and create their own ideas. And whether that's with these actors or not, we're not going to know for a while. And honestly, the more I think about it, I, I feel that Comic-Con this coming year in 2023 is going to be where DC needs to unveil their plan in some form or fashion to the fans. If they're doing a complete reboot and, and starting fresh, they're going to have to move Aquaman to before that because they're going to want to highlight that it's a new start and then to have something come out that's still from the old storyline the old regime that's just going to confuse a lot of people so I, I expect some changes to come i expect some interesting announcements to take place over the next few months and uh i don't know i want to know your thoughts because this really blew up on twitter last night uh, right as I was going to bed, so I didn't get to, to dive into it as much as I wanted to with people on, on social media, but I wanted to get this out there. I think it's huge news. I think it's something that is absolutely needed for the DC universe, and maybe I'm the only one. Maybe there's only a few of me that feel that way. I, I think when it comes down to it, the Snyderverse fans need to sit back and say, you know what? We've not had an agenda. We've not had a plan. We've not had a direction for the better part of two years. So us calling for the studio to do something that we want, that we don't even know what we want. I think at this point, you got to sit back and say, look, this is the best possible outcome. But let me know your thoughts 
in the comments with all that said talk to all of you later